Here we go, day three of uh, TACCON 2018. Had a couple of people asking me yesterday about um, where is this and is it available for anyone? Um, <clears throat> this year it's a direct at uh, the Direct Action Response Center in Little Rock, Arkansas, but it travels. Uh, I think I heard a rumor that it's gonna be in uh, New Orleans next year. Uh, I'm not in charge of that, but that's what I've heard. It is open to anyone and you get three days of training with incredible trainers at a, a really ridiculously reasonable cost. So, man, <clears throat> um, this is my first annual. I'm going to do everything I can to make it a, to attack on every single year just because I think it's fantastic training. And so I invite you to come with me next year. I'm not paid to say that in any way. I, I, I love Tom Givens and Lynn and his whole crew. I think they're fantastic people and they're doing good work which is why I'm here training. So I <clears throat> I was given a seat in the class, not by Tom, but by another company, by ShotCam, who was here, who had an unused seat. And um, they're, that's a cool tool. I'm excited about that. Um, but uh, not by Tom, uh, but I paid my own hotel and my own airfare and this rental car and food and all that stuff. So <clears throat> um, it's not cheap to come to this stuff, but it's worth it. And you gotta invest in your abilities if you're gonna be a self-defender. So today, day three, number one, I am a little late, um, so hopefully I get in there pretty quick. Don't miss much, I, I shouldn't miss anything, I should get in there just in time. I'm gonna start this morning at eight with Caleb Causey's uh, uh, emergency medicine class, his um, uh, you know pre-hospital treatment, which is pretty exciting. That's from eight to noon, and then <clears throat> um, a really prominent attorney, Skip Goschenauer, is teaching uh, legal theory, and uh, legal theory of defense, and um, legal self-defense. And you guys know that's a big deal to me. I try real hard to keep people out of jail. So um, I'm gonna take those two today, even though, man, there's some other great classes. Gabe White is teaching um, a pistol skills class that I'm like, dude, I, if I thought there was a chance that I could have gotten in the class, that it wasn't already radically full, I would have gotten up an hour earlier and gone. But I, I knew for a fact that I saw I saw pictures of people that were lining up to be in that class at 6:15 this morning. So, um, man, I'm uh, <clears throat> a little crazy, and I'm gonna shoot the pistol match as well today. But those two classes, that's eight hours worth of training today. That'll put us at 24 hours for the last three days. Um, and man, I'm really excited about today. I think today is gonna be a fantastic day of training. And then uh, most people are headed home, you know, this evening, but uh, I stay here again. I couldn't get a good flight out after, uh, at, at a time that worked for me. So I'm gonna hang out here again tonight, have dinner with some friends, and then uh, have a lazy day tomorrow of travel home. So let's get our training on. From the holster, one shot. Stand by. Stay at the red. From the red. Four shots. From the holster. One shot. Stand by. Okay, so the winner of the ladies' match, Miss Melody Lauer. Talk to me about the match. You hurt yourself before, I like did. three hours before the match. I did hurt myself. And you won it. I did, I did. Tell uh, me what happened in the hand. Well, what happened in the hand is I was shooting, um, it's all bandaged up right now. <laughs> um, I was doing Gabe White's uh, block of instruction. It was a fantastic class, by the way. And I was in the middle of a four, four shot string and got two shot three and it was bang, bang, bang. I felt something pop in the back, of, like right here in the back of my hand shooting pain all the way down my arm and was like crap i've got to be at the match in three hours so thankfully there was an er doc on the line who mm. did like a real quick assessment he's like didn't think you broke anything or anything pops some ibuprofen he wrapped it for me and he's a shooter too so he's like i'm gonna make sure that this doesn't yeah, yeah. inter interfere with your grip and then um i rested it until the match and was able to Hold pull it, it out. Off. Wow! So um, it was a it was a uh, kind of a last man standing kind of a match. Mm -hmm. we, we were all split up into brackets, and then um, you had three targets to shoot. They were the falling targets. You had to hit them mm. in a very specific Pattern. spot for yeah. them to, to fall down, and you had to hit um, one, two, and then there was poppers that crossed when they fell. So whichever one's on the bottom is the winner because that was the sure. one that fell. So it was two out of three. 
and uh, you know, two out of three wins, and then you move up your bracket if you win, and I moved up to the end and yeah. managed to win. What so. number tack con is this for you, Melody? Four or five. 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 Why, do you, why do you keep coming? Um, it's a great place to sample all the people and to meet people like, for instance, Gabe White. I'd, I'd never been able to, he, he lives in Oregon. Right. Um, not able to train with him very often, so I get to take a small class with him and be like, hey, is our, our style going to match? Yeah. Like, am I going to learn a lot from him? Um, also, to be introduced to trainers I've never heard about before in my life. I'm like, oh, hey, I know this person, or I don't know this person. Um, so getting to know them and then to hang out with my friends. <laughs> so, because there are people that I literally, even though we are active on Facebook and right. social media and stuff, I only get to see once or twice a year, and this is a great place to hang out. Like with you're them. texting people back and forth, or like Facebook messaging and stuff, like to actually hang out and yeah. sit around. Yeah, yeah. I found first year like exactly the 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 classes to try out instructors and be like, I want to get a little piece of this. I I like three people. I was like, can you come to Phoenix if I host you? Like, can I get <laughs> right. you to come yeah. and do a whole class? And um, but. But it's hanging out with people. It is. It's great. And um, so I, I someone, I, I was telling one of the other gals my, my strategy for TACCON. And she's like, ooh, I'm going to lower it from now on. <laughs> and that is, um, so what I do for TACCON is I switch years. Because there's so much information. There's also a lot of things you can do. Right. And so I switch out um, every other year. I will either do all classroom stuff, like head knowledge stuff. Mm. And then the next year, I'll do all skill building stuff. Like all the shooting classes, all the the hand to hand classes, and all that stuff. And then the next year, I'll do classroom stuff again. Classroom stuff again. So this was my this was my active year. This was my which is why I didn't see you because I was all in the classroom. Yeah, and which was I, which is why this stuff like this happens because yeah. I shot so much that my hand was like I'm done. I don't, you said you shot like so, a thousand rounds this weekend. I shot a lot I, this weekend. I think I shot a total of like. 85 rounds this weekend. Oh, I, it felt, I was like running from class to class and they're like, the round count, they're like, oh, it's 100 rounds. I'm like, oh, 100 rounds. And then I look in the bottom, I'm like, that was way more than 100 rounds. Because <laughs> I'm like going through, I'm like loading magazines as fast as I can and then shooting them and I'm like, ah. So my hands, I mean, you'd see the blister right there and there. I've got major, yeah. major blisters. Yeah. and. So here's the funny part. This is where I would normally say Melody and John and the Citizens Defense Research are coming to Phoenix in, in December and you should train with us, but you can't. It's sold out already, <laughs> but you can not come to the classroom portion, right? Yes, you still got absolutely. seats for classroom? Yes, you can still come uh, to the classroom. As many people, we can fill in whatever auditorium yeah, yeah. you have. Yeah, so. December 15th, and we could seat at like 180 in there, so awesome. we got plenty of space out. for that. Um, you can see it's raining. We're getting rained on, yeah. uh, but dude... Uh, Tacon, legit. Would you would you recommend somebody who's not a huge like monster? I mean, obviously you're a professional, yeah. so. But if you're not, do you still recommend this? Absolutely. There's so much information here. You even if you're not into guns, but you're just into self defense, there's a lot of things for you as well. Mm. Um, you know, there's the just classroom on mindset. There's classroom on legal stuff. There's 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 enough information here. They have a veter veterinarian kind of a course this year. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, a steward medicine for your animal. <laughs> for your pets. For your pets. So Weird. I mean, like, there's something for so you. So good. And, and there's been plenty of people here that were just like, hey, I, I, never, I didn't, I don't come here to shoot, and they don't, and that's yeah. fine. You don't have to be person amazing well uh you won i got smoked in the second round so well, i, I didn't even make it to the shoot off so you you won clear. as a woman you won your okay. division okay i got smoked in my division <laughs> i made it through the um the qualifier and then didn't make it into the final 16 why yeah. because i got on the line and the wheels done fell off but that's the how it stress happens. Stress was real. It was real. I couldn't even claim stress. It's just seriously, this is what <laughs> happened. So it's five yards, fast shooting. Okay, fine. I'm a red dot shooter. And I just said to myself, do your fundamentals, yeah, right? Yeah. Do your fundamentals right, you'll be okay. And it's the first draw that I've had in months that I drew, pushed that gun out, and didn't find the dot. Oh. And that cost me a little bit of time. And so I threw a seven on that first shot and I just went mentally. I went, nope, I'm out. Oh. And so then I just kept screwing up. There it, there it was. It sure. <laughs> Legit. Yay! Uh, we're uh, we're all waiting around here kind of for the uh, awards and all those things. And uh, it's raining cats and dogs. Thankfully it waited. Look, I'm hanging out with Marty Hayes. Hey. So all these amazing people. And these are the folks, the diehards. They stuck around, man. And it's raining like crazy. Look at Tim back there hamming it up. Whoo, TACCON's over, baby. But uh, we'll do some recaps afterwards and all that stuff. But... These are all the folks that stuck around all through all of it. What a great weekend. You gotta be here next year. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Gabe White. Look at the hardware. <laughs> Champion, that's right. This guy, um, 
incredible te teacher taught for four hours today. Yep. Took a quick break to shoot the uh, uh, the bullseye match. Yep. That was a man. That wasn't a simple. No, that the, the, they scored it by points and not some scoring zone really separated. Made a good, made a good graduated uh, separation among everybody. Yeah, definitely. I didn't make it. How about that? <laughs> and uh, um, you know, we talked earlier about. I mean, you have put a ton of work in to get very fast and accurate with a hammer. Yeah. What? Tell me about the level of work it's taken you to get. There. Well, uh, it's taken years of work. It's probably been about seven, seven or eight years that I started since I started shooting competition and expanded beyond uh, simply the tactical world that I was in, uh, which has been a, a very powerful foundation. And from the standpoint of technical skills, uh, competition shooting really sets the bar uh, generally a lot higher because it's just specialized purely in technical skills. They don't have all the other things to deal with uh, that you deal with in the study of self-defense. So it's just it's specialized, and that bar, the technical bar, gets set kind of higher. And uh, I, I, once I, once I recognized what kind of time and hits. A, uh, a master or grandmaster level competitive shooter is able to throw down with, with competition gear, uh, my whole goal has been to be able to duplicate that, to be able to function in terms of hits, time, gun handling, speed, accuracy, uh, to be able to function as you know, a master or grandmaster level shooter, but with what I really walk around with on a daily basis and conceal. So not in competition gear, but in right. defensive gear. Right. Right. Now, I'm not shooting a little difficult gun. I'm right. shooting, you know, a full-size gun sure. out of a out of but a, you carry a, a full an excellent defense. So, well, but if you carry it around, guess who has to have it gets to have it? That's right. Inside. That's right. Right here. That's so, right. That's that's the whole thing. <laughs> so. Awesome, man. And and uh, you're a travel and trainer as well. Yep. 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 Bring that show on the road. Yes. We're gonna we're working on you coming to Phoenix. I think that'd be great. We're, no, I'd it's gonna it. happen. We yeah. just gotta figure out the timing, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, what you? How many years have you been coming to TACCOM? This is my first time at TACCOM. This is my first time at TACCOM. What did you think of your first experience? It was awesome. Uh, every class I got to be in or observe was really outstanding. Uh, I was really amazed at the level of, of intellectual kinship between many of the instructors. There was a whole lot that that I had in common uh, with didn't, not just the class I taught here, but the class I teach nationally and, and, and just, just my whole line of thought. There was a lot of commonality uh, between me and all the people that I, that I saw. And uh, and I got to got to meet a lot of people that I kind of knew from afar and have wanted to meet in person for a long time and that was you know it's been like a who's who of you know I can't I, I'm so happy to meet you right uh, you know that's that's been like that the whole weekend long got to shoot the match had the, the great honor of, of managing to you know put it together and win and uh, and my class went great I, I got I got no words I mean it's, yeah, I'm man. really happy <laughs> so um, tell me what was the favorite class you took as a student. Favorite class as a student was the centerpiece uh, of, of the tactical conference, John Hearn's Performance Under Fire uh, classroom. Yeah, I mean that, that, was, that was the biggest. Big, that was the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, and I couldn't make that one. And it, that's one of the hard parts of TACCON is there's always something great going on that you have to miss right. because there's something else you're doing. I, th I think it would probably take me four or five years of attendance to, even if it were the same every year, which is not really going to be, but even if it were, take me four or five years to, to, to actually work my way around and get in all the classes with all the people I want to train with. Nice. Uh, so this is, it's kind of a leading question. I think I know where you'll go with it, but I've been asking everybody I've been talking to. If somebody didn't have your level of skill, okay, and nobody does, okay, I get it. But among uh, mortals, wrong, wrong. among mortals, <laughs> if somebody was new, they didn't have a ton of tactical training, would you still recommend something like this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I think that now it, it, of course, is a question. Well, fundamentally, it's always a question of logistics and motivation, right? Sure. So if a person's ultimate goal is self-defensive ability, which is mine, yep. that is my ultimate goal. I shoot competition, but it's all subordinate to that, that ultimate uh, motivation. Um, I think that a what is you know normally recognized as a strong defensive foundation is critically important. Sure. Self defense is about a whole lot more than just shooting. It's about lots and lots of other stuff. Stuff that you address in, in your series of videos, and those are the big things that matter. But once you get those things nailed down to a certain point, maybe at some point the weak point to shore up becomes the technical skills. Right. And. If you can start to, the, the, the thing that really made a big difference for me was starting to recognize just the, 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 the real power of being able to shoot and gun handle accurately, integrate that, fully integrate that with a, a, a wide spectrum of movement. Not just, you know, a little bit of shooting on the move, but, you know, you, everywhere from shooting on, shooting standing still to shooting on the run and everywhere in between. And 
just the, the, the capability that that, that that gets you for self-defense when it does come down to the hard skills. Because at a certain point, it does come down to that, yeah. either through you know your failure to prepare, your failure to be aware, or that guy just did a really good job at his tasks and worked you into a disadvantaged situation, which is exactly what they're trying to do. Well, and I think that something that I've heard that's a lie is people say, well, you know, John, a real gunfight's not a competition. It's not like competition. Oh, it is a competition. Right, just a different one. You just don't a know. Worse one. You way, don't know what the part worse. time is. Right, that's right. That's exactly right. There is a time limit, yeah. and we cannot know. We can generalize, but we cannot know what it will be in advance. And so the only thing you can do is do exactly what you can, as precisely as you can, without wasting any time at all. And that's the right answer. Well, I don't know if we can hear because of the rain coming down. So, <laughs> Gabe, thanks for your time, hey, man. Thanks a lot, John. All righty. Well, I am leaving Sunday evening um, at 6 p.m. I'm, I'm the last student out of the parking lot here at Darcy. And, uh, man, TACON 2018 in the books. 24 hours of training in three days. Pulling out of here. Might get a little bit of bumpiness. Um, what a great time. Um, Caleb Causey, uh, medical this morning. Uh, technical medical care. Incredible class. Caleb did ask that we not take any video of his, uh, of his class. He didn't want there to be any... Um, misconstruing of his information so I didn't I was respectful of that uh, just great stuff uh, about managing the space and taking care of the most important needs great stuff Tech, Caleb's a great guy uh, it was great to get to meet him and then um, shot the match wheels fell off didn't do good uh, didn't make it out of the the qualifier for the final 16 but I mean I that's what I expected uh, I shot on a line with Ernest Langdon <laughs> So if you know what that means, you mean, that man, just an honor to do that and a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, got a chance to sit and talk to Ernest for an hour with Spencer Keepers, incredible time. Spent the afternoon in uh, Dr. William uh, April's class on, it's the beginning of his Unthinkables class, Violent Criminal Actors and uh, Violent Criminal Actions. Wow, just a, a ton of great information there. So much that I asked him if we can book a class with him that we're doing in Phoenix in July. So, um, trying to, to nail down dates on that. But, man, come and take a class like this, you guys. Um, getting a chance to meet the people, to train alongside of, of regular folks. You know, I consider myself just a regular guy. Um, and uh, training with with some names, man, and training alongside of some incredible people. Just totally worth it. Um, man, I felt like I progressed a lot. Learned a lot this weekend. Didn't shoot a lot, but learned a lot. And, um, yeah, so now next class is uh, Scott Jedlinski, Red Dot, next Sunday. So, see you soon. <laughs>